All right, everybody, welcome back. We got a video here on vintage Star Wars again. Uh, it, it's kind of impossible because I sent multiple in of each card, so or most cards. So I don't really know which one would pair up with which one that I was guessing grades on to begin with because they came back in a completely different order. So uh, I think it's easiest just to say, hey, every single one of these I sent in thinking it was going to get an 8 or a 9 at a minimum. Uh, so going into it, just, just know all of these cards, my thought was 8 or 9 at a minimum. So... Let's go through and show you what we got. First off, we had a, a min size R2-D2. Uh, I don't know what it is about the R2-D2, but at least one order every time I've sent in, there's been an R2-D2 that came back as min size. But this time, we got two of them that were min size. And then we also got a Princess Leia that came back min size. So... Uh, unfortunately, those three did not get graded, but we did get grades on everything else. So let's get to it. First one here is a uh, Ben Kenobi. Everyone, most people know him as Obi-Wan Kenobi, but uh, this one came back as a nine. So very happy about that one. Good start. Got another Obi-Wan Kenobi, and that one also got a nine. I think I sent five of these in. So here's another Obi-Wan, and this one also got a nine. So three nines right off the bat. We got another Obi-Wan Kenobi. This one got an eight. Condition-wise, looks as good as the other one. It's just the centering, I think, on why that one got an eight. And then the last one also got an eight. Same as the last one. I think the... Uh, centering is is what knocked it down to grade actually before i go any further um the first thing i said i got two orders back from psa one was my last vintage order that you guys probably already saw a video of and then this star wars order and the first thing i told my wife when i opened the box up was i don't know exactly what's different but these slabs feel different than all my other orders and then the next day i saw a video i think midlife cards recorded a video recapping uh the president of psa talking and saying that they were changing some of their slabs so i think these are part of the new slabs because immediately i could tell they felt different so anyways back to it we got a Darth Vader next. That one came back as an 8. Very, very clean card. Pretty nicely centered. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it was a Nick or what that one. That one seems to be as well centered as all the 9s that I got earlier. But oh well. I uh, got a Princess Leia here. This one came back as an 8. Another Princess Leia, that one came back a six. Not sure what the deal on this one was. I guess this corner's got a little bit of white missing. This one's got a little white missing. That's probably <clears throat> enough to do it. Next we got R2-D2, that one came back as an eight. Got C-3PO. That one also came back as an 8. Another C-3PO. Also an 8. Then we got a Stormtrooper. Uh, this is the first Stormtrooper that I came that I sent in that came back with a grade. The Stormtroopers and the R2s seem to have a ton of min size ones, and I was happy that this one came back. Only got a 7, but it got a grade, so we're happy there. Another Stormtrooper, and another 7. Next, we got Millennium Falcon. That one got an 8. Another Millennium Falcon. 
That one got a seven. Got a Star Destroyer. Now this one looks super clean, so I'm not sure. Maybe there's a surface issue somewhere. Because this one only got a seven. And I thought for sure that one was going to be uh, one of the cards that would come back as a nine potentially. So maybe there's some surface issues there. Next we got Grand Moff Tarkin. This one came back as an eight. And another Grand Moff Tarkin. And that one got a seven. So that's the entire order overall. Pretty happy with how the grades came back. Too bad only the Obi-Wan Kenobis came back as nines and we didn't get other nines. But I will take the nines because anything nine and above sells for typically at least 100 to 200 bucks. So uh, I'll have to look up those comps and see how those come back. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Overall, pretty happy with the order. Uh, if you have any questions on these Wonder Bread cards at all, let me know. Uh, I kind of accidentally stumbled across them a few months ago, and I keep stumbling into them and buying more of them. So as long as I keep finding them, I'm going to keep sending them in. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please thumbs up, please subscribe, and until next time, God bless.